All right, so you guys know I want to kick this fiscal year off right, okay? Now, before we do that, I do have a special announcement to make for you guys. Now, one of you, one of you is going to be moving up the ladder in this, this hectic and, and demanding world that we call business, okay? Now, he's been with the company around uh, eight years now, uh, and he's worked his freaking butt off. That's the thing about it. Worked his freaking butt off. And I think he may know his name. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it goes a little something like, what is it, what, 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 John, John Lee? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right, okay, John. We're so proud of you. We're so proud of you. You worked your butt. It's just super. And so I think, uh, I think you guys know the drill, right? So let's drop a beat, huh? Oh! My name is Rick, and I'm here to say RTM is here to stay. Kicking butt and taking names, having fun and selling things. West Corner was a stellar one, and Sydney won a staple gun. Call those, call those clients and make those orders, and let's have an even better quarter, guys. RTM strikes again. RTM strikes again. Hey, keep it going, guys. All right, that's pretty good. That's pretty cool. All right. No, no, you, of course, no, of course, I didn't say that, of course you can. <laughs> yeah, no, I did, I did finish everything that, um, that I was supposed to, so, hey. Hey. Um, sorry, uh, sorry, hi, can you, um, can you get him ready for dinner? I was trying to kiss you. Oh, that's nice, um, just, I'll yeah, be right there, okay? It. Um. Yeah, uh, sorry, I, I lost my train of thought, but can I call you back? Okay. Hey, uh, don't forget you have that doctor's appointment tomorrow. I know. Okay. Look, Johnny's getting his first prostate exam. Yes, he is. Yeah. Okay, okay. Johnny's growing up so fast, just like you. Look at that. Mr. Gutchell? Turn around. Okay. I just... This will only hurt for a second.
What Come what are you doing? Please. A chip. Come on, stop. No, you know what? I'm I'm done. I'm done. Thanks. Yeah. Chip, have you seen the remote? What? Have you seen the remote? No. I'm going out tonight. With your girls? Yeah. What time are you going to be home? Late. Hey, Ann, why don't you uh, take him home for a nap? I'll finish up here. You sure? Okay. Sir, when were you at the park? Uh, like nine. 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 And you didn't see or happen to notice the warrior with the mother? No. Okay. 
we're gonna have to get a full report from you guys. Let's start writing this down. Um, and also, if you have any flashlights, it'd be helpful if you can start looking with the rest of the community. Uh, we got everybody looking out there right now. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah.
Sorry I'm late. Hi. It's okay. We're, we're always welcoming new faces around here. Hi. I'm Nelson. Hi. Have a seat. Make, your, uh, make yourself comfortable and uh, relax, relax. You are here. So, uh, how about you introduce yourself to the group? My name is Russell, and, uh, yeah, I'm an alcoholic. Hey, Russell. Hey, Russell. Hey, Russell. Welcome. This can't be good for people with sugar addiction. Oh, there, there's no such thing. <laughs> so, but you did really, really well tonight, really well. So, how, how are you feeling about it? You know, it was, um, it was fine. Good, good. So, on the, the first night, what we usually do is, is link you up with a sponsor. And that's just, um, you know, somebody that you can talk to, you know, if the need arises. And, and you're lucky because you're getting one of our veterans. Uh, Chip. Hey, Chip. Come over here, Russell. <clears throat> so Chip's been with us now for, Chip, four or five years, give yeah, or take? Yeah. yeah. So we encourage the, the new sponsors to uh, go out for a cup of coffee or even for dinner on the first night, uh, just, to, just to get to know each other. And that's, of course, if you've got the time. Well, as long as it's not a bar. Body works world. Can't get enough of this shit. I can see that. I have this small collection of bottles at home from all over the world. Cool. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, every fucking meal, you know? They just started putting this on my fucking cocoa puffs. Maybe that's uh, what you need AA for. <laughs> Hot sauce. It's funny. Seriously, though, uh, as your sponsor, I gotta tell you to stop. It's getting out of hand. <laughs> okay. It's a lot of sauce. <laughs> you, uh, you married? Mm. No. You got kids? Nah. Christ. No wonder I'm an alcoholic. No, I mean, I'm... I'm married with the kid. I, uh, I knocked up a girl way too young, and now uh, I have a wife who won't even look at me, so... Mm. Grass is always greener, I guess. So what do you do? Detective. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You seem surprised that, well, you don't believe me? No, you look like a... You look like every detective ever. Oh, yeah? Is... How? He's got the, the greasy hair and the, uh, the earring. <laughs> Looks good. You look good. What about you? What? What do you do? Computers. <laughs> When's the last time you had a drink? Were they just gonna jump into it like that? It's part of the thing, part of the job. I have to ask questions. 
I just gotta let you know that I ain't gonna suck your dick on the first date, all right? <laughs> like two weeks, three weeks? It's been a few days. Oh. Wow. What's the uh, poison of choice? Tom Collins. Classic. Yeah. Bet you don't miss the hangovers. That's good. Well, you know, as fucked up as this might sound, uh, I do. I miss everything about it. I miss the smell. You know? yeah. I miss that crisp sound it makes when you pour it over ice and you swirl it around in your glass. I mean, it's like hearing fucking Christmas bells. Things immediately begin to look different, feel different, you know? It's all about that warmth. It starts from your head, and it moves right down to your feet. And you feel warmer and warmer until you're numb. And in one fucking second, all your problems are just... Uh, well, anyway, it's uh, getting late. I ain't got a work thing. Um, just, uh, I gotta get out of here. Um, just, uh, let me know when we're gonna have a second date, huh? It's good to meet you. Yeah, likewise. your turn. Sorry. Uh, move backwards for... Summer. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, move forward 12. Not bad. Lucky. How about it? <laughs> Oh, you're so close. So close, huh? 
Everyone, listen. Hey, family meeting, everybody. All right, just listen up. Family meeting. So, uh, so some of you heard, and some of you haven't. Uh, but the perseverance plaque uh, from last year has gone missing. Yeah. So we've checked all the CCTVs. Unfortunately, there were no cameras inside of the break. What? What? Who the fuck would do that? Look, uh, great question. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> who would do a thing like this. Uh, needless to say, an investigation is being done, and we will get to the bottom of this and, uh, and persevere on, right? Because as the plaque says, said, that's what RTM does best, <laughs> and that is what RTM is all about. So guys, on a lighter note, this Thursday is Bring Your Kids to Work Day. Got it? Got it. Good. So, um... It's one week, Russell, and everybody gets one of these. So, congratulations. Thank you. Hey, uh, actually, have you heard from Chip at all? Mm, actually, I haven't. Um, it felt kind of empty without him tonight, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't want to complain or sound like a snitch or nothing, but... Uh, okay. Guy, he just hasn't been answering any of my calls. Oh. I'll try to get a hold of him for you. I'm sure it's probably just family stuff. and he calculates it for you. Pretty cool, huh? How do you learn that? This is so boring. Okay, I, I'm trying. I just 
This is what I do for a living, so. Hey, you want to play hide and go seek? Go ahead. Thirty seconds starting now. Fox. Yeah, decent work on the Torres case. Well, thank you. I'm throwing you on something else. Fucking kidding me! I've been doing everything that you've asked me to do. You did, and now I'm throwing you on something else. With all due respect, I've been working the shit out of this case for eight fucking we months We got a now. missing kid in the business district. Just came in about an hour ago. Where? The RTM building. Officer's already on site. Go. OK, so apparently it's bring our kid to work day. You're saying the kid was there one second and then gone the next. You were playing a game of hide and seek. Uh, surveillance. The only two people that we have on the video leaving the building in our time frame is a janitor who's been there 10 years and a delivery guy with a package. Both of their stories check out clean. In the interior? Every camera in that office has been wiped. Oh, that mm -hmm. shows a sly little cat, huh? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What about the parents? We have the dad detained in the small room. He's, uh, he's not. Who's in charge? A Rick Mitchum? Apparently, he's the guy who's playing the games with the kids. All right. Well, uh, let's go ahead and check him out along with every other okay. employee who's here today. Right. Make it thorough. If they've laid or unpaid parking tickets, I want to know about it. Sir, for the love of God, please sit in your chair. I'm done. Sit in your chair. We will get to you later, all of you. So, Mr. Mitchum, have you uh, had any employees that have been laid off in the past year or two with any screws loose, criminal history, anything like that? Last person laid off here is going around three years back. And, you know, that's still when my dad uh, ran the place. Since I've been running it, no one's been... And, uh, that guy ended up... Uh, he moved to uh, Milwaukee, Milwaukee with his family, and they're, they're doing well. We chat online. Um, and by, by the way, I, I do a, 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 a thorough, a thorough ba uh, background check before I even even get... Uh, you know, an interview here, so that should weed out. Uh, All right, listen up. I'm gonna have to um, talk with everybody that was here. Yeah, today. sure. Yeah. Can arrange to have them picked up, but no adults leaving this office until I'm done. Super. So no kids, huh? No, I'm afraid not. Is that by choice? No, I. I've just been really focused on my career. I don't think I really had time for them. But you want them, don't you? I'm not really sure what you're trying to get at here. Do you want fucking kids or not? No. Not really. Can we keep the area clear, please? Sound? Or... Well, now I know how to get a hold of you. Yeah, look, I'm sorry. Uh, it's been a crazy couple of weeks at my place. It's oh, yeah? Uh, what's just been going been, on? Uh, my, wife's, uh, my wife's been sick. Oh. What she got? C uh, cerebral palsy. Your wife has cerebral palsy? We, th no. Uh, we thought she did. Turns out she was just feeling a little bit stiff. Oh. Uh, she's fine now, has a false alarm, so. Oh. Okay. Well, that's, uh, good. Yep. Yeah. Don't worry about it. So you're really a cop, huh? Detective, yes. You really are a, um, how, how was that? How'd you word your occupation again? What was it? Uh, computers. Computers, yeah. I'm the IT guy around here. Uh, that, that's interesting. 
because as soon as I was briefed on what was going on down here, the first person that I wanted to talk to was the man or woman who runs all the tech. Here I am. Yeah, here you are. I mean, just who would have thought that the person that I wanted to talk to most was, in fact, my AA sponsor? Small world. Person I should trust. Person I should be able to look to if I'm having a problem. Guess what, Chip? What? I've got a problem. I've got a big fucking problem. Okay, well, I'm willing to help in any way that I can. Yeah. You keep saying that, but I've yet to witness it. But maybe now that your wife doesn't have the uh, cerebral palsy, all of that can change. See, I've got a missing kid in an office. It's your office, in fact, and uh, whoever took this kid was able to erase him or herself doing it. Now, everyone I've talked to here today is pretty good with computers. You know, they could draft up an invoice, make a PowerPoint presentation, all that bullshit, but none of them are the computer guy. The information technology man himself, but now here he is, it's you, Chip Gutchell. My mentor, my buddy, hell. So, maybe, if you don't mind, you can dig deep down inside that tech wizard mind of yours and finally help me out. Huh? Um, I'm not sure I understand. Are you presuming I had something to do with this, or...? No. No, no, I am just asking for your support. Chip. You know how to operate the CCTV, do you not? Yeah. Did you alter the security footage here today in any way? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. 10 more seconds. I think it's been a long day for everybody here. Uh, I mean, God forbid something happened to this kid. I can assure you, Mr. Gutchell, something bad has happened to this kid. He is missing. Right. And like I said, I'm willing to help out in any way that I can. But right now, I just, uh, I got to get my kid home to his mom, because I know that it could have been my own, so. Sure. <laughs> yeah, well, well, I guess that wraps this up, huh? I'll see your way out. Okay, we're good. Hope I see you at next week's meeting. Oh, and Chip, if I, um, try to get a hold of you for any more questions or guidance, pick up your fucking phone, okay? <laughs> of course. All right.
Is it right? Are you sure? Can you go ahead and uh, get ready for bed? Okay. What are you doing? Looking for your little secret? I got a call from a Nelson Guerrero today. How long has this been going on? Shit! It's not going on. This was years ago. Then why did you go for a drink right when you walked in? I don't want to do this right now. I really don't want to do this. This is... It's stupid that we're even talking about this. Just drop it. You know what, Chip? I'm, um... I'm really fucking crying here, okay? And I don't know how I'm supposed to move forward if you just keep lying to me. No. Chip. I don't know what you want me to do. Like, I... I, I, re I really don't because this isn't about me at the end of the day. This is about you. You lied to me for the past five years. It's ridiculous. This was years ago. I don't even know why we're still talking about this. Oh, yeah, years ago. Okay. Yeah, as in the time when I found you in the shed with the hose around your neck? Like, I don't know, around that time? Yeah. Right around that time.
So you're asking me to go off this theory you got about a white married male who happens to be a father living in the suburbs of Critica County, who also happens to be your AA sponsor, which I might add, has been secretly running around, cramming objects, animals, and children up his asshole. Then he somehow digests them, and he does this in sprees, almost in serial killer fashion. Is that about it? Uh-huh. I'm not entirely sure about the whole uh, digestive system part, but yeah. And it seems the more objects this guy's putting up his ass, uh, the stronger he's getting. That's my theory, anyway. Well, uh, I should ask, has anyone else here had that experience? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, there you are, you see. It's much more common than most of us would think. So, um, all of us here want to thank you for sharing that. So, Chip, we missed you last week. Would you like to share something with the group? Yeah. Um, I apologize for my absence, guys. I, uh, it's a hell of a week for me, so. We had a situation at my job missing kid, I'm sure some of you guys have heard about it. And uh, Coincidentally, Russell here is uh, assigned to the case, so I, he came into my work and I got to talk to him and see him work and he's great. It's really interesting. Then at home, I'm having trouble with my marriage. In what way? My wife just found out about all of this. The AA, my addiction, everything. You never told her about it? No. It's always easier to just keep her out of it. Well, that's normal. I mean, that's normal. But, you know, <clears throat> guys, listen, it's, it's important that you know who your support system is. I mean, this is one of the first things that we teach you. I know. I know that, too. And I, I apologize again to everyone for, uh, for not being up front with you. And I take full responsibility for it. So. Well, with the additional stress, uh, have you been uh, tempted at all to have a drink? No. Good. Good. Well, th that's a relief. <clears throat> I, uh, I am sure that you are going to work through these problems. Thank you. So, Russell, that seems to be an excellent segue to you. to have you over for dinner. She's trying to get more involved with everything, so. Like right now? Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. It's probably not going to be that great. Just kind of act like you like the food, all right? Follow me. How are you liking the meetings? You feel like it's working for you? Well, you know, um, I haven't had a drink. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I've wanted to. Um, oh. Several occasions, like right now, for example, <laughs> but I, I haven't, so. Hmm. Yeah, I'd have to say the meetings, I guess, are working for me. For, for now, at least. Sounds okay. good. Good, yeah. yeah. Um, Chip seems to say the same thing. Is it right? Yeah, he does. It just, you know, works. I love it. Works wonders for him. Well, you know, I gotta tell you, this guy, he's a hell of a sponsor for me. It's a hell of a man you got yourself right here. You should see the way they treat him at the meetings. It's like he's an old war vet or a movie star or something. I don't know about that. Oh, come Is on. Is that right? Absolutely right, yeah. He's like, uh, he's like our own Tom Cruise. Okay, yeah, no wonder he's so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. No, no fucking oh, wonder. To Tom. To Tom. To Tom. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Russell's the real talk of the town. He's the real hero. I mean, I can't imagine what the, uh, the Lee family's going through, but... It's gotta be hell on earth. Gosh, your line of work must be so intense. How's it all coming? Um, well, it's a process, but it's coming. Good. Do you have any leads or anything? As a matter of fact, I think we're getting pretty close. Well, that's good. That's good, right? Yeah. So, um, how are you feeling? What do you mean? The chip told me about the health scare. She's good. You are fine. I'm fine. You're fine. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're sweet. <laughs> what about you? No girlfriend? Hmm? No lucky lady? Well, you know, job keeps me busy. It's my first love. You never wanted kids? Uh, maybe someday. You know what? Mm. I have a very cute friend. Oh, well, there we go. Tiffany? Okay. I'm sorry, can't you see it, Tip? Russell here and Tiffany? Yeah. I can see it, yeah. We'll have to do a double date or something. I'm gonna talk to her, okay. and then I'm gonna have Chip let you know. All right, okay. That'd be fine. Okay. We can go uh, bowling or something. You bowl, Russ? No. Well, you know what? She will actually be at Marty's birthday party. Oh. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I don't know if uh, laser tag <laughs> is your thing, well, but she'll be there. So. Oh, no, go ahead and check my schedule. So okay. I think it'll... Yeah. Be fun. <laughs> well, um, I'm so sorry, but I better put that little asshole to bed. <laughs> um, yeah. Thanks, babe. Absolutely. Anytime. Um, hey, thanks for the dinner. Oh, it's delicious. You are so welcome. Take All the right. bottle away. Yeah, you boys better not dig into my wine, okay? That was fun. Yep. Yep. Actually, you know what? Hmm. I got this real long drive ahead of me. I really gotta take a shit. Any line? Yeah. 
You got a shit right now? Yeah. All right. You sure? Cause... Yeah, it's fine. Thank you. Hey, I probably should have told you, but that bathroom can act a little bit funny. I'll figure it out. Yeah, it was, I, I should have uh, had you use the other bathroom. I'm already halfway in, so. I think maybe we should try to uh, speed it up if you can. I really got to get to bed. I got to be up tomorrow, so. Okay. Can you please walk away from the door? Sure. What the fuck are you doing? I think you need to come out. Just step the f just, hey, Chip, just step away from the door, right? Alright, just open the door. Shit! Back up from the door right fucking now! Is everything okay? Yeah, uh... Door got jammed here. Sorry to wake you. Um... I get claustrophobic. Oh. Thanks uh, again for the dinner.
Down at the power plant. Ah! The fuck? that I'm telling you is backed up on that disc. Get the fuck out of my precinct. Okay, honey. Just wait right here, okay? Well, they said you can get out of here in a couple hours if you're feeling up for it. I just don't know why you had to leave the house last night. Look, I want everything to get better. I want us to get better. I want you to know that I'm done for good. I'm sorry for everything. Yeah, me too. Shouldn't be here, Russell. Do you need me to call someone?
You never wanted kids? You got kids? No. You never wanted kids? Maybe someday. Everybody shut up. Everybody shut up! When I'm talking, thank you so much. We have a golden rule here that is no running. Okay? On the count of three, I want to hear you say it. One, two, three. No, no running. running! Lovely. Second rule, very important. No cursing, no yelling. On the count of three, I want to hear you say it again. One, two, three. No, no cursing, no yelling. yelling. Good. Now on to gameplay. This is your gun. And this is your vest. Okay? You're gonna have sensors on the chest and on the back. That's what you're aiming for in the opposing team. Oh, one more thing, you guys. Have fun out there. Have fun. You're Aunt Julie, I presume. How would you know that? Everyone's looking for you, kid.
So are you going to answer me? Ah. Who are you? I'm the guy who's going to get you out of here, kid. Your son? What is all this? all the stuff he shoved up his ass. better to been last week? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the physical therapist has been a miracle worker. Significantly better. Good. Okay, so on a scale of one to ten, one being the least amount of pain and ten the most, what would you say? It's probably around a three. Great. Glad to hear it. Okay. You good? Uh, right now I'd like to do a thorough examination. So, what does that mean? Take off your pants, turn around and face the wall. Just checking for any internal bleeding. Dear Father, Thank you for this meal we're about to eat. Thank you for keeping us safe and alive in this crappy situation. No pun intended. 
We hope one day soon you can get us out of here, back to our warm beds and our families. Thank you, Lord. Amen. This will only hurt for a second, all right? So, inhale and exhale. Pull in. Pull in. Dead. Dead. Pretty loose back here. Really? That's weird. Okay, I'm gonna refill your script for the Vicodin. Take two every four hours. And uh, let's do another round of the antibiotic. Four in the morning with your breakfast, okay? And uh, that is it, Mr. Hero. You call me if you have any questions. Thanks. You're welcome. You know, I gotta come clean again with you guys. When all this went down, I was, um, I was out of control. I would have one drink, and that would lead to another. And another, and then you just fall into that spiral again. I know you, all of you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I apologize for not being honest with you. I was ashamed. I was, I was scared. I was so many things. But now I look across and see this empty seat, and I realize how minimal my problems really were. How much worse off it could have been for me. It's weird, because the irony of it all is I have no desire to drink. At any time, you know, and a very sick, sick man could come back to get me and my family, and it's strange, you know, I'm not, I'm no longer scared. I just want to say a few words. I, I know Chip hates the spotlight, but um, but here we stand today with, with a true hero. <laughs> who, uh, look at over here. <laughs> who in a life or death situation reacted with no hesitation, did you? <laughs> to save lives and to, and to put a stop to the real scumbags. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. which, is, um, which is more than I think I could have ever done. And that's saying something. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I want to say thank you guys. Seriously, thank you so You're much. Welcome. Well, uh, no, no thanks necessary. What are we now? What are we going to do, guys? We're going to persevere on, aren't we? And uh, uh, and 
And listen, amidst John Lee's leave of grievance, we have Chip, or we, no, we have the Gutch Man. <laughs> the Gutch Man. We had the Gutch Man to take his place. Now, uh, I think we all know what, what's coming. I think we're going to embarrass this guy a little bit, all right? All right, so let's go ahead and let's drop a beat. You know the drill, huh? Okay. Oh, my name is Rick, and I'm here to say the last few weeks have been quite strange. To ask if we will rise again, because Chip just got a promotion. The Chip in charge will reach the top, and the ITM won't ever stop. Swing a Chip. Chip, 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 chip. Chip, 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 chip. Oh my god. Hello. Hi. Oh my god. Hi, baby. Is that you? Hi, honey. Ch Chip! Oh, Chip! Oh my god. It's him. It's Rocky. Sure. Right? This is him. Oh my god. Look at him. He came back. He remembered us and he came back. Hi, baby. <sighs> Really him. Oh my god! Look at him! Look at the little guy, he's all wet! He's soaked! What happened to him? I'm so sorry I can't make it today, honey. No, it's okay. I'd rather you not be there. I'm nervous enough as it is. Really? Why? You're gonna be great. You're not one for speeches. <laughs> no. You know, I was thinking, um, maybe in a couple weekends we could go back to Sanibel. So fun. We take Marty and what was that place we used to go to? Um, the Cottage Inn, I think. And then, you know, what was, uh, there's that Italian place we could take him there. He would love it. I don't really have time for this right now. Oh. I'm just a little just nervous, you know? Yeah, um, sure. So we can talk about it. Should we go over there? Ah! Uh. 
Look at me. You're gonna be fine. Hello. Welcome. Thank you all for coming. I'm Mayor Michael Cage, and we're here today to celebrate a true American hero. I thank our lucky stars every single day that this man was able to stop this monster. And I can tell you that we're doing everything in our power to find him. Now, it's not often that we give out this award. And when we do, it's usually to one of our boys in blue. Today, we're about to make an exception. So without further ado, here's South Critica County's own white knight, Chip F. Gutchell. Oh, stop. 